Miss uh, Thomas had said that she'd been hearing a lot about hard to get along with not being, but, uh, and I was like, well, luckily it's really, that isn't my issue. I said, I just think, hey, you're I thought that was interesting. Good morning.
click off the other language. And then click off the other language. And you're going to click go. Sweet. Oh. 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 Oh, I love that. Okay. High five on the reaction. Can you have some time? Quickly. Okay. All right, and bring it down. You guys, that is awesome. You get to choose one book. Okay, we're not going to spend a few. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. You're going to be like, okay, Jack and the Beanstalk, that's what I'm committing to today. I'm going to read that the whole time. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Th they get through more than one. They, oh, right. Some of those books are short. Okay. So then you pick another book. But here's the thing, what I mean by this. You don't read a, like a minute of it and then switch. You read the whole story, and if you have time, you move on to it and then the next story. Okay. I'll have to say, my first period class, we're reading them through. It was awesome. That's Starting awesome. at the uh, three to five, I think, whatever okay. that is you put so on there. For example, I'm going to show you one that I've been, um, I think it's pretty book my piece. Okay, the book my brother, you know, right, Amber? So, I guess, what's the expectation? You're going to pick what, how many books? One. And what are you going to do? Read it all the way. And then? <laughs> are you going to, like, give up just because, like, for some reason you're not interested? No, you stick with it. These are all, these are a combination of narrative stories and nonfiction. So, in graphic novels, you're going to choose, again, we have another no, let me show you. Great question, Karen. Let's try the book that ate my brother. So you're going to be using the headphones when you go into this because what's really cool is that it does read it.
Thank you. 
So you're just worried about numbering this. So do you do, do you, you, are there parts of this you can do before and after reading? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about what you would do before. You would what? Okay, title, author, and you might have to probably read it to get the genre and whether you liked it or not, if it was hard. And this gives us a lot of really good ideas um, about um, how you're reading and the kinds of things you like, don't like, and what's hard enough for you. And that's all I got. Very good. Thank you. Uh huh. That was a really, really great job listening and participating for this first time of class. So you will need a pencil. You're going to need uh, this sheet, which I will take with me. You will not need the sheet you just wrote on. You will. Yeah. Okay. Please stop interrupting. Okay. We're giving. We're trying to give lots of instructions. And if you can wait and be patient, your question just might be answered. So let's. We're going to. So active listening. You're going to listen with all of your might. And then when we're done. Do I have any questions left? Victor, Kiara, John, you focus. So uh, you're going to need a pencil. You're going to need this paper, and you want them to take your paper and the nonfiction. Is there a backpack? Yeah, we can do it. The nonfiction. <gasps> okay, who interrupted me? Just raise your hand. What? Can you tell me what would have been a better way to go on that?